baby. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Tell me, what do you like about, about Magnolia? Oh my gosh, so many things. Give me one. That's just one right for now. I think maybe my favorite thing is how much undercarriage storage we have. Because I think it makes it a lot easier for us to design the inside in a way that's like not all about storage. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Because, uh, I mean, these are so huge. Look, I can, I can just climb in here. Some people actually turn these into bedrooms, I've heard. I've heard that too. I think I saw one where they like built stairs to go down into it and then they had like a little mattress. Yeah, they turn, well, they can, you, can, you can do that. There's enough room to sit up and that's all you need for a bedroom. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, I'm 5'8", and I mean, I obviously can't stand up, but I can crawl around in here. There's just a lot of room and we have a lot of plans for what we want to do with this area, including like, we want to put a washer dryer down here. We want to put maybe like 200 100 gallon water tanks, one for fresh, one for gray. Yeah. And then like, you know, your art supplies and just other things that we want to be stored underneath, like tools. But we just have so much room under here. And it's just exciting to think about that we don't have to store all of our things inside the bus. Yeah. What's something that you love about it? About Magnolia. One thing that I love about Magnolia is that every single, it's got lots of windows, so lots of light. I know that a lot of people when they're converting school buses and other buses will delete the, the existing windows and that way they can put in place the windows where they want rather than be stuck with what they've got. But I love the light. I love the fact that it's got all this light and if we need to we can you know black one of them out but I don't think that'll be a thing. What I really like though is that every single one of these windows besides being double paned which is, is which gives you that air gap of insulation which is perfect is also an emergency exit yeah every single one of them opens like this so this one right here and they're real simple to open and you can open them just a crack or you can open them super far as a matter of fact uh there's a channel that we watch all the time and they have a similar bus to ours with similar windows and they actually use their windows to like put um big boxes full of cabinets through <laughs> because it was easier to do that than to go through the door so that was that was, that was rehabitate oh yeah rehabitate. shout out to rehabitate yeah we'll link we'll link to their channel down below you got to watch it they're really rehabitate. Cool. we love them we love their bus so um it's one of the very few buses that is a very similar style to ours yeah i love the windows too <laughs> and also they're tinted ours is bigger oh my god he's so obsessed with how big our bus is <laughs> I'm not, I'm not just saying i'm not compensating for anything <laughs> so anyway yeah i love the windows too they're tinted they're emergency they all open they're double pane yeah. we're gonna leave them huge yeah so we're gonna have what's nice too is that like the view like looking at them here it looks like they're super dark but then when you walk in you can you can see through them just fine like the view is really nice. There's my husband. Hey. I can't yeah. see you. <laughs> so it, it feels private, which is really good. Um, what's another thing that you love about Maggie? Oh, I was just gonna do one, but. Should we do one more each? I have one more. Uh, yeah, I can't think of one, but you go ahead. There. We can cut this out. We okay. cut this out. Okay, so another thing that I love about Magnolia is her emergency hatches on the roof, which we can go in and look at. So, I mean, right now they're just these big holes, but we're going to turn them into skylights and this one will be in our living room and that one down there is probably the bedroom maybe bathroom it's hard to tell um or no maybe partially your studio space yeah but i really love them 
because while we're working on the bus, it provides us with a lot of light and breeze. And we just open like a couple windows and the emergency hatches and we have like so much circulation, which is really cool. So I want to keep that. And then we'll probably also add like a couple of max fans maybe in the bus for kitchen bathroom. We have, uh, which is something that something that's really cool that you don't see in school buses, especially another thing. Oh, there's one more thing that I like. Yeah. <laughs> because it's a coach, a highway coach, and it's made for passengers and passenger comfort. You know, overheads, so you have this little thing where you vent, where you get your own personal intake of fresh air. Fresh air comes from oh, yeah. this opening. And this is right underneath the roof line. It goes all the way yeah. around. And the entire length of the bus. Now inside, normally in the when it's a bus, it's enclosed. The air is controlled that it comes in. This is just where it comes in. Mm -hmm. um, but it's sealed off from the inside of the bus and then it has little vents and fans that pull it in. But we can use that for fresh air, do the exact same thing. Yeah. Have, have specific spots where we pull in fresh air with intake and then we can do exhausts as well. Yeah. Uh, which I'm gonna use for the, uh, for the kitchen, for the bathroom. We can exhaust right out here. I love that. Yeah, that's going to be cool. Yeah. All right. There are so many things that we love about Maggie. All right. I got to get back to work. All right.